The Regis Jesuit girls basketball team has found success by combining sisterhood and support with talent and dedication. One of these star athletes is Francesca Bellivi. I think Fran is just an all-around great player. She really is a super supportive teammate, and when you're down or when it's a tough game, she has a way of like lifting you up to make you play like way better than you were before. Like last year in our state championship game, obviously it didn't go as we wanted it to, but throughout the whole game when times were tough, Fran would put her arm around you, especially like other girls on our team and me too. Um, just to like get us going. She's become more of a uh, seasoned player, not just being looked at as the dunker. She can rebound, she's great defensively, she gets on the floor, um, she's somewhat encouraging. Um, but yeah, she was always known as, oh, that's the girl that dunks. <laughs> now, her game has blossomed, and so, She's got a tremendous ceiling when she gets to Stanford. Fran's natural talent and dedicated work ethic has already gained much attention. For the past two summers, Fran has been invited to play with Team USA on their youth 16 and youth 17 teams. She has competed against 15 other countries and this year helped her team win the FIBA U17 World Cup gold medal. Just playing with the amazing people that she got to play with on Team USA and getting um, all the coaching that she got has improved her skills a ton. First player in the history of Regis to actually make a national team and the 16 team was shocking because she only had played for 21 months of her life so for a girl to pick up the ball and then less than two years later she's on the highest level in the country shocking last year going into tryouts I kind of felt a little more pressure because I had to like defend my spot um, but it's always like nerve-wracking being at a tryout process um, just because like you never know what's going to happen and you have to play your best every time you go out there and there's always so many great players. I didn't think it would be as much of like a friendship and like a sisterhood as it was and so and like we're not together for so long and sometimes we're like strangers coming together and so it's really amazing how we were able to come together as a team and as a family because you can't play basketball by yourself one on five and so I think no matter what you're what you're doing or where you're playing you always have to come together and have like a level of chemistry and and just like love within each other because that was something I definitely saw from Regis to um, USA and then back to Regis we're all we're all there together supporting each other happy for each other winning together laughing together crying together and so no matter what we are together I mean it's like winning anything is crazy in a championship and we like won with um, the like U16 team but I think the U17 team was just so much of a greater scale because they like really told us the whole time we were there like no team like we haven't had won this in like four years and so we were like really stressing out about it and so just being on the bench as the like last 30 seconds are ticking down and we're up 40 and like it's in the bag and we're all chanting USA and cheering on our teammates and like and then running onto the court as the like clock expires and that was crazy and then another thing was just like when they awarded us our medals and we all got our trophy and then there was just confetti behind us and it was like all we do is win is playing in the background and it was just like it's like a crazy thing that might never happen again. I was at the game so I saw them beat France. The interesting thing with that team that France was on was they averaged their average margin of victory is 42 points so you had Fran on a team that was so good but she was the sixth man and if anyone understands basketball it's a hard game to pick up. For her to be somebody that's the first sub off the bench at a level and be winning by 40 points a game, it's the reason she's ranked number nine in the country right now. Team USA taught me what I needed to work on. Um, and there was a lot of stuff I needed to work on. She was a kid that could dunk a Nerf ball, couldn't dribble, couldn't pass, couldn't shoot. Um, and you would never envision her to go from never playing basketball to starting our freshman year to making USA after a sophomore year, to being player of the year in the state, to making USA 17 her third year, and she still has her senior year to go. It was um, kind of like being a dad. You're so proud of her going, this kid came into me and asked, it, can you teach me how to play? And now she's playing for the best in the country. USA just kind of taught me just like how to, like that we are more than just ourselves. 
and like even at Regis we say like everything is to God's greater glory and so like USA really shows you that like yeah you have your last name on the back of your jersey but like the name on the front of your jersey like USA is what's most important they really teach you like leadership and the importance of leadership and how like how to be a leader not necessarily like telling people what to do but like being someone who works hard and does things in a way that people want to follow you. Um, I think her ability to lead by showing how hard she works, um, being a good example, and um, she has a, a sense of humor that my team needs because most of them are kind of wound up. When your country or USA picks you, you think, oh, this is awesome. But when you're actually participating on that team, her confidence went through the roof. She believes that I'm good. And that belief can go on the court. And now when she plays against anybody, it's this belief of I'm good. And Francesca's a great defensive player. Here she goes. Looking for the offense. Go! Believe me, just took the ball. Wow, Francesca. She has just dunked the ball. We just Jesuit high school. Oh my no goodness! Way, please tell me I did not just watch that. Number one pick in the draft if she wants to go to the WNBA. Um, I've talked to three national writers who have said because of where she's at now in three years, that's where she could be. But I see her following her mom and dad's footsteps, becoming a doctor, and doing what the family plans. And I've always wanted to be a doctor, and the Olympics and um, medicine really clash in a very big way. <laughs> Um, I don't know, it could happen. We'll see we'll see how it goes. Starting lineup tonight for the Raiders, number one, Fran Bellini.